Hi there, I'm Miles Hitcher, a senior partner and co-founder at Highview Solutions, a Google Cloud uh, premier partner for Google Workspace. I'm joined here today with one of our uh, Google Workspace customer engineers, Jacobo Lopez. How's it going, Jake? It's going great. Excellent, good. So for today, we're gonna talk about Highview's signature manager for Gmail, a Google Workspace add-on product um, that we uh, provide to customers through the Google Work um, Google Workspace Marketplace. And before we get into a short demonstration of how to install and use the product, I want to talk about why we built this. Jake, what did we hear from customers before we were building Signature Manager? Um, well, the majority of clients were having difficulties just keeping consistency across their user base and how the brand was presented. So really managing signatures is not built in the admin console. So you can manage users and details for users, but nothing that's specifically assigned in the Gmail interface. So managing and keeping that consistency was, was just a, a mess. So helping yeah. resolve that, yeah. Great, great. And I also know uh, maintaining that consistency. And then a lot of admins love the ability to push a signature template when they have a new employee that joins as part of onboarding. So it's become a very popular use case. Um, great. So Jake, let's go ahead and have you present your screen and we'll walk through how to install signature manager for Gmail and, and go through a quick product tour. All right. So this is signature manager for Gmail. You can find it by going to the Workspace Marketplace, and it's called Signature Manager for Gmail. Uh, this is uh, only can only be installed by an administrator, so you have to be a super administrator to install it and then grant the necessary permissions. And I'll show how that, that works. So this is the admin install. Um, there's just a quick message here. Remember, this might take up to 24 hours. That's uh, by Google Workspace, not from our application, but you can hit continue, and then and this just will. A quick note on there: if you are seeing an error at this stage already, you probably do not have the required super admin permissions. So that would be something to speak with your other administrators. Um, you do need super admin credentials to to install this. Yeah, thanks, Miles. Yeah, it, it has to be a super administrator. Um, next, you can see what the scopes are and the permissions necessary for the application to work. So it's going to ask for. Uh, uh, permissions to access Gmail. So because it has to emulate or uh, impersonate the, the actual user account. And that's uh, Gmail and then a couple of scopes for the admin console. So manage some details, view organizational units, because you can push uh, signatures based on org units or groups and so on. So those are the required scopes. Um, you do have to uh, install this for the entire organization, so you cannot do it by selected orgs. Otherwise, you're only applying the permissions to those users under that organizational unit only. So keep that in mind. It has to be installed for everyone in the organization. Um, so agree to the application's terms of service, which you can read here, access and read. Um, and I'm going to allow that, just uh, click it there. All right, so Signature Manager for Gmail has been installed, and then you can just click on, and you'll find it here. Signature so, uh, for Gmail, yep. and then you can launch it from the application launcher. And that's our homepage. So this is going to ask for you to sign in. Uh, if you have already installed the uh, add-on, then you can just skip that. And then just proceed to log into the application. And then you're taken to your uh, My Templates. So this is the home page you are going to see the first time. You're probably going to have this empty. And then you can just start um, creating templates. So uh, you have the navigation menu, of course, My Template. Company information is pulled from the Workspace Admin Console, but it's only a one-way sync so changes you make to this are not going to be synchronized back to workspace um, just a note but yeah so this is going to pull 
all the details and you can add a logo so you do have to add that manually here and you have to take this from your website maybe we have uh taken this url from our website so that's our company logo and then you can preview it and you can change the details of course if you want to change them social icons can be added here and those are utilized by the time you're building the uh signatures which i'll show in a moment but this is just a central place where you are going to keep this we decided to keep this here because you're not going to have a different uh social media links for each individual user this is just a company uh, social media icons or links um and then short sure, so templates um you can have a main one that's applied to just the entire organization if you do that then uh, you shouldn't have any other custom templates because those are going to be overridden if you have this active since the application allows you to synchronize or uh, push signatures every 24 hours so if somebody has made a change this will be pushed to all users to keep consistency so if anyone makes just a font color or if they change any text then that's going to be overridden by the application in 24 hours um all right we'll take a look at the new template uh, this is going to take you in a uh screen so this is a signature setup where you can either use a template if you are going to use a template and of course if you have one example already you can pull that from a user maybe so we'll use yes yeah, so this would be like let's like this account has the template that everyone loves and we want to recreate that and make that a standard across the organization and that's how you would do it you pull in that one user signature first correct and so this is the signature and then you can start replacing some of the details so this is just the static content for now but we use placeholders um so for instance if you want to push this for multiple user accounts then you can drag and drop from the details and then you have full name so i'm going to add full name uh this is just a placeholder and this is a preview but this would of course update the user's name by the time you push it and then if you want to replace the role then all we have to do is go grab the job title drag and drop make sure it is positioned correctly and then you have the job title here so you can see that on that right hand side and so on so this is pretty handy and very uh, user friendly so we are going to go grab the company details now and we have the company name here and there you go so company name that is going to update the company name and so on um so for the email address same thing um we can go back to user details and then just get the email address here there we go and if you want to adjust images it's as simple as just uh, dragging this if you want to resize it so if you think that that's not the right size for the logo, then you can just simply resize that in that way. If you are a more advanced user or administrator, you can go to tools and then go to the source code. If you have a signature already built by somebody, you can just uh, drop that HTML here. The recommendation and best practice is to have HTML that has CSS in line, so nothing that is taking any type of CSS from an external source. It has to be all inside the HTML tags. This is for advanced users, but you can definitely take advantage of this source code editor. Hey, Jake, one question. Um, on the far right-hand side, you'll see the ability to insert your own image. If you can click that. I, I do yeah. want to call out that there's no way to upload your company logo. We do ask that you host that source image on your own website or on some sort of server that can then you can drop in the URL here. Um, that's because we don't we don't want your signature to be dependent on on us. So um, you can link from your website or anywhere else where you have that information. One thing though, you cannot link from a Google Drive file. 
um, Google's moving away from supporting that for signatures. So you do need to host it um, outside of um, Google Google Drive. So, great. Go ahead and continue, right. Jake. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so, and you have a complete editor here. So anything you want to do, format or style, then you're free to use the format section, insert so there's tables and so on. And we're probably going to have just a separate video for uh, just showing how this works. But I'll move on to um, social links. So if you do want to use the social links, then all you have to do is just uh, make sure you have those fields here populated. I'll go back here. So as long as you have that, I'll have you solutions. And which is not ours, but uh, just, just that as an example here. But there you go. And then we can go to uh, just a template. I'll grab again that same one. And if you wanted to add those social links, then we can go to social. And now this is available for you to just simply drag and drop and then place in the signature. So as simple as that. Nice. Um, all of them available. Excellent. Um, conditionals, that's more for if you want to exclude details, we will be um, getting this into the back end uh, in the next few releases. So. Uh, but if you just want to have or make sure that if there's a field empty in the workspace admin console that's not left empty here, then you can just use that. Um, all right, and then select the target. So once you're happy with your signature, you can choose to hit next. And then that's going to take you to the target, select a target where you can specify, do you want to apply that for all users? This is available for our premium subscribers and then the light version, of course. Um, you can do that only by uh, users, groups. So you can just select different users. We'll do only admin and then the other administrator. Uh, it's grayed out because that one already has a signature applied. So you can tell if somebody has already had a signature applied from the application. So it's not going to let you just override a different template for it, which is great. So we could do that. And then you have those two users selected. Or you could do groups. So if you have a Google group, maybe you have um, sales or something, collaboration, distro group, Europe user. So if you have a standard signature for that specific group, you can just simply apply that. That'll send the signature to anyone who's a member of that group. And the same goes for organizational units. So this is going to get all the organization units you have in the admin console. For instance, if you want to apply this to accounting, you can specify accounting. Anyone who is part of that org unit in the workspace admin console will get the signature applied. OK, so that's the target. And then you can go then and save. You can simply save the template, or you can save and assign the template. This is if you want to use it for later and just save it, keep it there. Or you can save and assign the template, meaning you are going to apply this to the selected target in the previous step. So you give it a name, and then you can see how that looks, and click Apply. If you wanted to apply this every 24 hours, you can toggle the switch, and then that signature will be applied every 24 hours. If somebody has made any changes to the signature, then they'll be replaced entirely for whatever you have specified in, in this section. All right. Um, um, Jake, really quick, explain the difference between premium and the trial features. Oh, sure. Um, so actually, during trial, you can use uh, the premium features, but there, there's a light version. So after the 14-day trial, you go back to uh, just having the uh, ability to apply this individually. So you don't have the ability to apply this to all users or by organizational units. So it's only individuals. Um, you have up to five templates for now. We're planning on increasing that. Um, and you cannot apply this every 24 hours. So the automation is not part of the light version. In the uh, premium version, you can actually automate the process of applying signatures every 24 hours. 
Great. Excellent. Thank you, Jake. Thanks for taking us through Signature Manager for Gmail. Thank you.